Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with B. And if you are new here, welcome. Hope you stick around. Thank you for watching. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning and watching another coffee chat and whip. Um, I am still working on my cute little kitty cats in the planners. And it's got flowers and butterflies all around it. This is absolutely adorable. And so far, it's turning out okay. Up here, I wish that the eyes were a little bit better. But other than that, everything else on this is looking pretty good. But I'm using my purple tray. I have this kitted up in baggies, which I've got in my Dollar Tree little basket and then i am just using this pin came from amazon and then i've also got my little wax pin here if i need it for anything which i doubt i will but or pencil but it's there all right let's go ahead and turn this on so, I've had a very busy week this week, even though I haven't been real busy with work because we have been kind of slow at work and we were training somebody, so it just, work was really slow. In fact, I got an ETO, voluntary time off, on Monday. But it was a good thing because my daughter's babysitter didn't show up. So I had to watch the grandkids. Um, anyway, I have got this weekend coming up off work. And what I plan on doing this weekend is I plan on going out and going camping somewhere. Where? Not sure yet. Haven't really figured it out, but I'm going to take my van, probably, and just go camping in my van. Get some little me time to myself, and it's just going to be, I'm just really going to, I'm really looking forward to that. I am, because I love going camping. And sometimes you just got to go somewhere and, and just have some time. And that's what I'm planning on doing this week. Um, what next? What else was there? Oh, that is the main thing. And I probably should have saved that a little bit. Um. So I've got to start getting everything packed up so I don't forget anything like my last impromptu van camping trip where I forgot almost everything I needed. Ended up eating cookies for breakfast. But, but while I'm camping though, I'll probably do some more... Um, get some videos recorded since I'm going to be off the entire weekend. I have two PR packages coming up to record. So y'all will be seeing those maybe even before this one's out. Because whenever I record those, I try to put those out as soon as I can after I get them. <coughs> Excuse me. I try to put them out as soon as I can after I get them re get them and record them. Um, one of them's came in. The other one I'm still waiting on, but it I believe it'll be here today. So I should be able to get those two videos recorded today. Um. Oh, that was my coffee maker. Wondering what was beeping at me over there. It was actually my espresso 
maker machine telling me that it was going to sleep because my coffee today is an iced coffee. I ran out of coffee pods. So I had, it was either make an ice latte or go to McDonald's and get my coffee this morning or go and buy more pods. Which I will probably do that pretty soon, but for now, we're just doing this. Um, what all has happened today? Or this week? We went and saw my mom yesterday for a little bit. Normally, I don't go and see her till Thursdays, but this week. Went ahead and went and saw her a little bit yesterday. She's doing good. She was in good spirits. Um, which is a good thing. Me and my brother were both there. So she was happy to see us both there. And then. I'll still go back and see her tomorrow. For my weekly visit. And I always take her a treat whenever I go. So I am thinking, not sure yet, but I'm thinking about going around lunchtime again. And they have a hibachi truck in the town that I live in. So I'm thinking about just grabbing some of that before I go and taking her that for lunch. Hopefully she'll like it. I'm not sure she will. But I myself really like the hibachi that I get from there. Although it is pretty expensive, so I don't get it that often. But I'm going to try. Um, what else is going on? I was just so busy last week with the grandkids, watching them and having them pretty late at night, that I just didn't really get much recording done. Normally, I have a week's worth of stuff recorded by now. But even yesterday, I just didn't feel like, feel very good, so I didn't record yesterday either, which is Tuesdays are normally a big time that I do a lot of my recording. But I wasn't feeling that great, and I had a headache most of the day. So other than doing a little bit of door dashing, very little because I didn't hardly get any orders. And going and seeing mom, I really didn't do much. Um, I did work on one of my big paintings in the in the living room, which is where Josh is at most of the time, so I could spend some time with him. But other than that, I really didn't do anything. I've got one big square left, and I'll have another Diamond Art Club completed that I have in there. Which, it's one of those that I started working on and decided to work on something else for a while, and then I would go back to it and then work on it again. I think I started it back in August of last year and I'm just now finishing it and I do that with a lot of my bigger paintings I will start on them and it happens more so with the squares than it does the rounds but I will start on them and then decide that I want to work on a smaller painting for a little bit or a square or, I'm sorry, or around, and I'll start working on the other one, and 
especially if it's round most of the time I finish those pretty quickly but the squares I just need little breaks in between them and this one was the Josephine Moore mystery painting that I'm working on so whenever I do the completion on that one and sloth puzzle I'll probably put it in the same in the same video You, it's a big difference in the time that it took me to do the Josephine Wall as, rather than the other one. Because the other one I had done in a month, month and a half, something like that, I think. And it was a round one, but I've got two more three more diamond art clubs over there setting that I've started and haven't finished and they are all squares which I'm trying to work on those more and more so I can get all of those finished I need to rearrange my craft room and um, with me having the grandkids here late at night some nights I think I'm going to set up a bed or something in here and just move most of my craft stuff to the living room where I work on it in there so that I will have a place to put them to bed whenever they come here because they don't need to be staying up till midnight whenever they're waiting on their mom to get home and it makes it for a long night for me as well. So I'm thinking about doing that, but I've got to get a bunch of these other paintings done. I just saw some eights. And I know as soon as I put these this color away, I will find more, probably. But I absolutely love using the bigger bags for kitting up now. I don't know why, but I do. I need to clean my tray a little bit. Some of these are getting stuck. Okay, which one do we want to do? Let's do R. And then whenever I'm de-kitting these, I just throw the bags in this little container that I have down here with the drills in it. And I will sort them out. At a later time, I'll probably get three or four paintings in there. And then I will go through and put them together and put them in the file system that I have. And plus, this little basket takes up a lot less room than one of the kits that we have, so. And it looks like the bus is here picking up the kids in the neighborhood, if you hear that outside. And um, <clears throat> I am so sorry. But this is going to be a cute little orange and white kitten. My daughter's cat actually had kittens. So she's got five or six kittens up there. She's got to try to give away here pretty soon. And they are adorable and cute. But I don't need any more. I've got one cat. And she's laying right down here at my feet. She follows me around like a puppy dog. And especially if she wants attention and I haven't given her any yet. She will follow me around until I do. So she's laying down here at my feet and just waiting to get her attention. I love cats and dogs 
I like them too, but dogs can just get so hyper at times. So, I do have three dogs. All of them are senior dogs. They're older. And they have a whole room of the house now that we used to, it used to be a bedroom for the boys. For my boys whenever they were growing up. But since then we've put in a doggy door back there. And that is their room at night time. During the day they get to come in and roam around. And then they still have the access to go outside as well. But they have their own room. And the youngest one of them is probably 15 years old. Um, the oldest, well, not 15, probably 12. And then the oldest is almost 20 years old. So they're all pretty old dogs. And I love them to death. Sometimes they aggravate me, but I, one of them is a Chihuahua. Bullet is a Chihuahua. And he can be so spiteful. If you do something that he does not like, he will do something to repay you for not getting his way. He's always been really spiteful. Um, when my mom was living here, he was always her dog for the most part, even though he was supposed to be my daughter's, but he was, he was her dog. He would always sit up in the chair with her and all that. Um, anyway. I have been working on my cross stitch thumb and that new painting that I got from Hobby Lobby. I forgot my cross stitch one day and I got to work early so I wanted to go ahead and work on something while I was waiting and I happened to have that one in the van so I started working on it. That Simply Dots little key cap one it i started working on it and it is turning out absolutely great i love it and i will probably go back and get more of those simply dot dots ones because the drills on it most diamond dot drills i haven't got this open yet but most of the diamond dot drills seem to have a lot more facets on it than those. And it could just be me. I'm just thinking that. But anyway. I need to do one of my other diamond dots and compare it. What the difference in that Simply Dots one is. But I really like working on it. It is a very easy painting to work on. It's got a lot of color blocking. So it's not taking me long at all to work on it. And the only time that I've been working on it is while I was waiting to go into work. And while I'm door dashing some. Because with that one, I've been doing it a little different than normal. I didn't put release papers or anything on it. I'm just, I'm basically taking one color at a time, opening it up, finishing that color, putting the leftovers in a bag, and then going on to the next color. And it's actually working out pretty well. I'm saving the white that's the cat for last just because I want my plastic 
cover to stay on there while I'm working on it, but I've been doing it one color at a time. And normally I do not work on paintings like that. I will have small little sections like this. And I just lost a drill. How dare that one come off of there? Oh, we have already got went over our 20 minutes. I am so sorry about that. I was just chatting away and didn't realize the time. But anyway, I might cut out some of this. I'm not sure. Or I might just leave it as it is. And you'll get a little bit of a longer whip and chat today. Um, so if you are here now, thank you so much for sticking around and listening. And I will see you in the next time I do a video. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye.